right, the process begins. I'm at Sign Post Forest in Watson Lake, Yukon. I have a board that I'm about to paint with my sketchy handwriting. I will affix this skateboard to it, as well as a sign with my phone number encouraging people to call me. See if that happens. All right. Painting done, assembly completed, almost ready to hang. What do we got? We got a billboard, we got a bird feeder, we got an old skateboard with a bunch of stuff on it, a bunch of stickers that are important to me that I've saved for way too long until today. Okay, it's a little bit invasive, but it is hard to find a spot. We got the request for people to give me a phone call. We've got Buddy Peters and Bob Green's RIP notice. We got Motorsports from San Diego. We got the skateboard that I was able to get from Board Stiff in Whitehorse, the Yukon. Got a bunch of stickers that I've been saving for way too long. A lot of things that are important to me. We got a water feeder for the birds, we got some thunder, we got my points of origin, Wichita, Fort Collins, and San Diego. It's July 2013, and live simply. I wanted this to be interactive on some degree, so I built a bird feeder or water, water feeder for, I imagine birds, maybe squirrels would use it. Um, and here we go. The Ceremonial filling of the Blue Moose water container. Signpost Forest, Watson Lake, Yukon. So the Signpost Forest is beyond was beyond my imagination. It's so massive. And there's a little pavilion in the center, little courtyard slash auditorium that has a small stage and I wanted to be in this area and so luckily I was able to find some space with my slender sign we are right on the back side of the stage and I wonder who will be the first person to give me a call won't be able to receive a phone call for a week or so till I get into the United States of America, but looking forward to it. This is out near Lake Louise in Alaska where I found the board. This is Christy from the Weathered Anchor who donated the paint and brush. And this is John from Board Stiff and Whitehorse who gave me the broken board. I'm going to try to list every single sticker that I had to put on this board. I've had these stickers for a long, long time. And starting at the bottom, we've got the San Diego Independent Media Center. We've got Tofurky. We've got the Turf. We've got Kiss Me, I'm Organic. We've got the Satori Wheel Movement. Killing Machine. There's a little Roger sticker there. The Fort Collins Bicycle Co-op. We've got Launch, a community through skateboarding, a nonprofit in Fort Collins. We've got the Predatory Bird. We've got Food Fight, support your local vegan grocery store. We've got Pokies, Mexican food down in San Diego. We've got Mighty O Donuts in Seattle. Cowtown Skateboards in Phoenix. We've got a sticker for The Run. And then we get a little political with Let Me Decide. Please label GMO crops. And please conserve water. It's our most precious resource. We've got the Explore Veganism sticker that Charmaine and I made. There's the Board Stiff uh, shop sticker that was on the board given to me in Whitehorse. Smelly Curbzine, we've got the World's Naked uh, Bike Ride from Portland, Oregon. We've got Pool Dust Zine from Wes Lundry, Lungfish. Sweet Action Ice Cream in Denver. There's a Star and Moon on there for Foundation Super Company. 
And finally, there's the Old Man Bowl Jam sticker that Michael Sieben drew for us, for Mike Burnett and I. Super psyched. All these stickers mean something to me. I'm glad I had them with me and could plaster them up for the signpost forest in Watson Lake. Most epic.